Welcome, Cubbies and Puggles. Thanks for coming back this week. We had such a good time meeting with you last week, and I really appreciate all of y'all who subscribed and clicked on that notification bell and shared it. Uh, we saw that it, the message really did go out to a lot of different people, and so we're very excited. You're back to join us. Let's open in prayer, and then we'll see what our friend Cubby Bear's up to. Lord, thank you for this opportunity, God, to meet, to learn, um, to visit with our friend Cubby Bear, uh, and learn more about you. In your name, amen. Well, hey, Cubbies and Puggles, so what do we got to do? Maybe uh, Cubby Bear might be taking a nap or something, so let's be loud and wake him up on three. One, two, three. Cubby Bear! Hey, Cubbies! Hi there, Cubby. Uh, what's that in your paws? Oh, this is a flower. It's springtime at the farm, and the weather is getting a bit warmer, and the grass is starting to turn green, and the trees are starting to get their leaves, and there are flowers blooming just like this one. Oh, that is such a pretty flower. Hi, Cubby Bear. Hi, Cubbies. Choo! Oh, my lovey. Uh, what's the matter? I love when it's springtime on the farm, but sometimes I sneeze and my nose itches and I get too close to the flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, lovey. I'll put my flower away so it don't make you sneeze. Thanks, Cubby. Well, so let me ask y'all, what kind of things are you two doing on the farm now that it's getting warmer? Are you excited? because it's time to get the ground ready for planting. Timothy's mom is busy preparing soil in her garden. Then she'll plant seeds. What kind of seeds are you planting? Mm, let's see. There's broccoli seeds, carrot seeds, and squash seeds. Well, it sounds like Timothy's mom will be busy with her garden this year. Yeah, seeing the seeds grow up out of the ground and become plants makes her very joyful because she knows she will have good food for the family. Yum! I think the food Timothy Mom's grows is worth getting excited about, especially because I get to eat some of it at the petting zoo. Well, let me ask y'all, what else is going on at the petting zoo? Well, there is a new zookeeper helping Timothy's dad. We don't know him very well yet, but sometimes he calls for us to come, but I don't recognize his voice yet, so he has to call us up for a couple times. But he has a, he's very nice and he loves all of us. That is so exciting. It's always fun to meet new people. Oh yes, and there's a lot to do. The petting zoo is getting clean and ready for the people to come visit. All our homes are getting washed out and we're getting fresh straw. Wow, there definitely is a lot to be joyful about this spring, isn't there? Yes, there is. Well, I better get going. There's a lot to do right now. Yes. And I'd better get back to the petting zoo so I can enjoy my fresh, clean home. Okay, we'll see you both soon. Bye, have a great day. Bye, Bye Cubby. See you next time. Bye. Hey, boys and girls. So as we saw, Lovey and Cubby were so excited because it's spring. Well, guess what? I'm very excited too because next Sunday is one of our favorite days of the year. It's a special, special day. It's called Easter, and we're going to tell you the story of Easter from God's Word. God's Word is truth. So, Jesus came to earth. Jesus is God's Son, and He came to earth and tell them everybody about His Father, God. He loved everybody, as you can see, boys and girls, adults, grandparents. But there was one sad thing about this. Some people didn't love Jesus. Some people were very mean to Jesus. There was a man named Pilate who was kind of like one of the leaders of Rome. And he told, uh, he, they, they asked him, the crowd was yelling and shouting, crucify Jesus. He really didn't know what Jesus had done wrong, but he gave in to the crowd and he said, okay, if that's what, that's what you want, I will sentence Jesus to death. So Jesus had to die. He willingly died. And we'll tell you uh, why here in just a little bit. He had to carry his own cross 
and he had to die on the cross for our sins. Look at his followers. They were so sad. Everybody was sad. That day is known as, as Good Friday. But there's good news. The story doesn't end there, cubbies and puggles. So when Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb. A tomb is kind of like a room inside of a rock. So they put Jesus' body in there, and they put a big, huge stone over it so nobody could mess with the tomb and get in there. They even put guards around the outside of it. You can't see them in the picture right here. So Jesus had a special friend named Mary Magdalene. She came. She wanted to come check on Jesus after three days, and she came in. She was so surprised, and she was actually afraid. She said, the, the tomb has been rolled away. Uh, the stone has been rolled away from the tomb. How did that happen? So she walked inside. She saw two angels, and then she saw a person who she thought was a gardener dressed in white, and she asked him, where have they taken Jesus? I love what Jesus did next. He said her name. He said Mary, and Mary knew. She recognized Jesus, his voice, and here she is. He said, oh, this is so wonderful. It's you, Jesus. And he said, yes, it is. Jesus had rose again. He had defeated sin and death. But we've got to ask you, we've got to explain, Cubbies and Buggles, why did Jesus have to die? Why did he come to earth to die? There's a reason. It's called sin. Sin is anything that we say, we think, or we do that disobeys God. You can see this little boy's pouting, and there, this little girl's not listening to her mom. And A, this is what this stands for. A means it all have sinned and whenever we do this we always point back to me we've all sinned the bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of god so we needed um, someone to take the pay the price for our sins we couldn't do that on our own and that's exactly what jesus did he paid the price for our sins on the cross and when he rose again the third day he defeated satan he defeated sin and he rose and he is our savior. That's why we worship him. That's why we give him our heart. And that's why we're so excited about Easter. So let me ask you, boys and girls, moms, grandparents at home, dads, is there anyone who has not given their heart to Jesus? You say, well, I'd like to. What, how, what do I have to do? Well, it's quite simple. Jesus doesn't want us to do a bunch of things and uh, try to work our way into heaven. We can't do that. Jesus wants our heart. He wants us to A, admit that we're sinners. B, believe the story I just told you. That's our Bible verse this week. 1 Corinthians 15, 4. Jesus rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe that he is who he says he is, the Savior. And C, confess. That means tell with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. Let's pray. Lord, are there any today that need to know you. God, I pray that uh, they would come and uh, trust you as Lord and Savior. Uh, even over video, God, you can work. Thank you for how you're letting so many people get to watch these videos. But Lord, thank you most importantly that you did die on the cross and you did raise again on that third day. God, that first Easter. We love you. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to sing now. And we like to sing different songs from time to time, but there's no better song than one, two, three, Jesus is alive, because that's the story of Easter. So we're going to start singing now, and everybody sing loud at home.